Hey everyone, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video, and we are going to be reacting to Glorilla explains why she is only paying five hundred and fifty dollars for a personal assistant position that she's hiring for. Now, I saw this on Twitter, I think, um, like first initially before it made its way to Instagram, I believe, um, where basically Glorilla is hiring for a personal assistant. Um, now the $550, I believe that's weekly. Um, and so people were of course up in arms because you know, that is, um, very low pay. Um, a lot of people can't even afford to, you know, um, pay for rent at, at that price. Um, and so people are debating if this was a, um, a fair wage, <laughs> to be paying for her personal assistant and there's different ways you can look at it right like a personal assistant doesn't require um many qualifications you know what i mean like really anybody could be a personal assistant i mean obviously you have to have some of the core skills of like you know just being a good employee and having a good communication and you know all of that but in terms of like anything like technical or school wise like you don't really need any qualifications to be a personal assistant and so you know it's like okay well how much do you pay for a personal assistant but you also have the other half of it where it's like well this is a glorilla and it's assumed that because you know someone at her at her status would have the money and if not her her team or whoever she works for someone has enough money to pay more than $550 a week to be her personal assistant. And so we're gonna get right into this video and see what they have to say about this. They already know that I'm dropping the tea. So let's get right into it. FNF rapper Glorilla, you know, has announced that she's hiring a personal assistant. Okay, now let's read up on what the job entails. It says yeah, look qualifications, at this. <clears throat> excellent communication and interpersonal yeah, skills. See? Outstanding time management and organizational skills, customer service skills, ability to multitask and prioritize. Yeah, so like literally basic skills, communication, time management. Like, I'm not, and I'm not saying that everyone has those skills, but they're they're basic skills that like most people have. Workloads, high level of attention to detail, <clears throat> organizing and managing all deliveries, discretion and confidentiality, educated to high school diploma level. And here are the list of the responsibilities. Manage calendar and schedule meetings. Scheduling and maintaining the non-work related calendar of all events and appointments. Doctor visits, dinner reservations, etc. Handle travel and itineraries for glow arrangements, including ground transportation, flights, hotels, and other reservations to ensure smooth travel. Coordinate safety protocols with the road manager, security, and drivers. Travel with GLOW to both business and personal related events. Organize meal schedule, grocery shop, mail pickup, run various errands during the week and some weekends. File and keep track of wardrobe and receipts on occasion. Manage personal belongings, wardrobe schedule, make sure GLOW has related pieces for events. I'm not. If we travel per week. Okay. <laughs> what? That's only a little over $2,000 a month. Now, Glorilla. Chat. Yeah, so basically she wants them to do all of that for $550 a month. Now, again, you can look at this in several different ways, right? Like some people are like, okay, well, it says educated to high school diploma level. So is this for those people? Is it for people that um, just graduated just graduated from high school? Maybe they're just starting college. Maybe this is like their first like entry level gig um just to get some experience you could argue that um but i i don't know because like i said because also too um i don't know if you guys saw but ari lennox is also looking for a personal assistant i almost applied low-key um I'm, I'm still not sure I, i'm sure she probably picked somebody already but anyway um but she was hiring for that as well um but the difference with ari lennox though is that she wanted someone 
that was actually experienced with glorilla i think she just is literally just looking for anyone that can help her out with whatever she needs um and so yeah i don't know i'm conflicted like that is that is a low wage especially um you know in this climate um in this economy and also she's expecting this person to hop on flights with her constantly and so pretty much the life of that personal assistant is going to revolve around glorilla and so when you look at it from that perspective when you're telling someone to pretty much um you know adjust and live their life according to what's going on in your life for 550 dollars a week and eh, I, I don't know i don't know if a lot of people would be willing to do that that's only a little over two thousand dollars a month. Now, Glorilla, child, I know she lying because being someone's personal assistant puts you on call for them twenty four seven. That's what I'm saying. That makes sense. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at. Like, even though if the core of what the job is isn't a lot, you're still putting in a lot of hours. It's not a nine to five. A personal assistant, you have to be available to that person literally whenever whether it's three o'clock in the afternoon or three o'clock in the morning you're constantly traveling and being available for this person like they, they pretty much are putting their life on hold and what they got going on to do this because even if you were to say like okay this is more so for college students unless that college student has all online classes and they don't have a heavy uh workload i just don't see how that's gonna work reasoning for this pay let me tell you mom from the time i'm about 52 like bitch it really needs to be five <laughs> no i'm just playing but for real first of all your flights get paid for your flights and your travel if you want to have pay then pay for your own flights and your own <laughs> travel and see how i'm gonna spend five hundred dollar ass flights bitch you think i'm gonna pay you $100 a week and pay. I, I take flights every day. You think I'm gonna pay 500 for you a flight every day? Look, pay for no, they don't work like that. I mean, anyways, um, if you have the money to do so, have the shit on that list you don't gotta do for real. It's just, if it come down to it, you might have to do it. But it's literally the easiest shit in the world. You really don't gotta do shit but be with me every day. And, um, yeah, you have, yeah. If you're requiring that someone has to be with you every single day, including weekends and including nights, like, like literally, like your entire life is now based on what you got going on. Yeah, I would hope you would pay a little bit more for that. Like, I don't know. She also didn't specify how long this role is going to be for. Because if this is going to be her personal assistant from now on, I can't imagine just only getting paid that because again if they have to sustain bills and have to provide for themselves like unless you're gonna have this personal assistant living with you and you're going to um do more outside of just paying for their flights they gotta make a living as well and they're not gonna really have time to pick up like another job or whatever if they're working as your personal assistant oh my outfits i gotta wear you gotta have you gotta have all my shoes <clears throat> I don't know why I just gotta be ghetto every time, like, uh, but fuck out of it, cause I keep talking about feet, feet ain't nothing, but you really sitting on your ass and traveling with me, getting to see the world that you, you know what I'm saying, like, you gonna be everywhere, getting to meet everybody I meet, it's an opportunity, like I said, <sighs> so if you feel like bad bitches too much, keep doing what you're doing, it ain't for you, keep scrolling. Woo child, and the people thought that Summer Walker had it bad about a week ago when she said that she was hiring an assistant. Oh wait, I didn't see this. Need male assistant, 2k a month. Yeah, that's pretty much the same thing, except she specified that it has to be male. I wonder why all of these artists are hiring for personal assistants all of a sudden. That's interesting. Maybe because they're getting ready to go on tours. Maybe. 2k a month. But come to find out, she only needed them once a week to do things like throw out her chairs, oh, okay. run errands, and pick up her groceries. So that is reasonable. That is, but yeah. But Marilla wants a whole assistant that's going to be by her side all the time for less than what they're paying at McDonald's. And speaking of yeah. food, didn't she used to work at Checkers or something? Oh, I didn't know she used to work at Checkers. And I'm pretty sure that they pay her way more than that for 40 hours a week. So, boo, think about that and come back tomorrow. That's why I love tomorrow. Wait, maybe I'm tripping. So does her reasoning for the pay make sense to y'all? Bitch, what God got for you, no bad can take it away. 
Uh, yeah, um, man, I don't know, like, again, I think because of how much she's demanding, like, again, like, she, this personal assistant, again, it's not just nine to five, you know, get off the clock, or even, uh, with, uh, Summer Walker, like she just said, Summer Walker wants a personal assistant, but only once a week glorilla literally wants a human being <laughs> at her call 24 7 to me when you're working those amount of hours and you're dedicating that much of your life to helping out someone else 2k a month to me just doesn't seem reasonable because again they also have to take care of themselves and if you're not allowing them any time to do that then yeah i do think you have to accommodate for that like literally nannies get paid more than that like you know nannies who like there are some nannies who will literally live in people's homes to help take care of their family and they are paid immensely well because they have to put their life on hold and have to cater all their time and energy into helping you know the family with whatever they need whether it's you know taking taking care of the kids house sitting uh cooking cleaning whatever it is like they're paid more than that and this is kind of how i i kind of see with this position like no they're not a nanny necessarily but they're at your call 24 7 to pick up your food to pick up your clothes to travel go on flights with you like they don't have any time left for themselves and you expect them to only survive off of 2K? And to say that it's just, you know... Because she's trying to say, like, oh, when you get to experience things you never experienced before. And you get to go places. Like, it just... It sounds like your, your main, like, selling point here is that they get to travel more. And maybe meet, I guess, other celebrities or... Uh, maybe potentially network with other people in the industry. I mean, yes, that that is also very valuable. But I think, again, for what you're demanding here, yeah, I would expect a little bit more, especially if you have it to give. Like, you're trying to make it about the experience, but it's like if you or your team or whoever is funding this position, I feel like someone in your camp has the financial means to pay more um for something like this and so i don't know i'm conflicted let me know what y'all think in the comments down below do y'all think this is reasonable or or what let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you guys know when i drop new videos and i'll see you guys in the next video